What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited that Unreal Engine 5 is officially in the next phase, which is preview one. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So shout out to Feeding Wolves. As soon as I woke up this morning, I got a message on Discord saying that the next iteration of Unreal 5 is on. So I immediately set up the camera and jumped up on here because I wanted to go over this live with you guys. And so whenever you open up the Epic Games launcher, you'll see this right here, front and center. It says Unreal Engine 5 is now available on preview. And if you click on it, it will actually take you to a web browser, which goes through all the different updates and everything. But before we do that, let me show you how to actually get the preview for Unreal Engine 5, because it's not the same way that we had the early access before. And so if I come over here to library, you'll see that we still have early access number two here. If I click on the arrow, it doesn't give us any other options to like upgrade it or anything. And that's because we have to come right here where it says engine versions, push plus right there. And then right here, you'll see it will say a different version for version four. But if we click on the down arrow, you can now see that we have version five preview one. And the reason for this is because the earlier version of Unreal Engine 5 was actually based off of version 4.26, but this new preview will have all the functionalities of 4.27. So we're going to get cool stuff like, you know, the CryptoMat IDs, which I did a tutorial for on 4.27. We're going to have the official path tracing in here that was upgraded in 4.27. So we're going to have all those features now in Unreal Engine 5. So all you would have to do now is just click install, which I'm going to do right now. And it's going to give you a warning. It says this release is only for testing so this isn't the official release of unreal engine 5 it's still in preview but you know take it with a grain of salt i've been using early access for client work and it's been working fine for me so again whenever you click at the beginning at the epic games launcher it takes you to a website which is this right here so it's just giving you all the updates and everything in unreal engine 5 preview it's talking about how the matrix awaken was actually built with this version of unreal engine 5 so if you keep scrolling down and actually fortnite is built in unreal engine 5 as well which is really cool so these notes down here are basically going over the improvements which in rendering with nanite and everything and I'm not going to read this all to you because you guys could click the link and kind of go through everything yourselves. But let's see if there's anything that really pops out to me down here. So, yeah, as I was alluding to before, path tracing, which was introduced in 4.27, is now going to be in version 5, which is really cool. So I'll probably go and check that out as well because path tracing gives you some really cool renders. Let me keep scrolling down, see if anything else. Yeah, the control rig, I actually wanted to do a tutorial on this. And so I just got the X-Sand suit. And it's cool because you could do the animations, bring them over to Unreal Engine. And then if there's any type of mess ups or anything, we could use the control rig to actually fix it and clean up everything inside of Unreal Engine. So look for that coming soon as well. Yeah, so basically that looks like that's it there. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Unreal Engine 5 Preview 1 is officially out, which is really dope. And so I would say go and download it now because it's gonna be a hefty download and it's gonna take a bit. But also make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're new because because for here on out, I'm going to be using this version of Unreal Engine 5 for all my tutorials. And so if you found this helpful, again, leave me a big thumbs up. It helps out with the algorithm. Leave me a comment down below of some of the stuff that you might want to see me cover in this new version of Unreal Engine 5. Like I'm automatically going to go to the control rig and the path tracing in there. And maybe I'll do another tutorial on how to do the ID mats like I did in 4.27. But again, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want covered. And until next time, stay fresh. Keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care. What up, what up? Wimbush here.